Having a difficult childhood is not a reason to perpetuate your suffering and those around you. Hello, my name is Rika Dina. I, for those who don't know me, I'm a mind designer and also creator of the internal compass method. I help individuals just like you who want to awaken your inner power and take the direction of your life, turn your desires, your goals into reality. Today, I would like to share with you a poem written by Tim Tippany, an author from New Zealand. This man did not surround to his turbulent childhood. He decided to break the cycle and provide his children a better life experience. The goal with today's message is to leave a word of hope. This is a poem from Tim Timpany, an author from New Zealand, who has been doing an amazing job helping the youngers. The title is The Shadow of Man, from the man who raped my mother. An act that resulted in my birth, the passing of a shadow of violence, rage, hurt, hatred. A shadow so big that has touched the lives of so many. That man convicted and sentenced crime upon crime to the young, to the younger. The shadow was handed down to my would-be father. It devoured and consumed the man. The shadow proved bigger than he. My mother cannot sit with me because she sees that man, the man who beat and raped her. My mother was touched as a child by the shadows of men. She told me as a boy that I would be like them, so I would be a monster. The disgust in her eyes, the loathing in her words, the rage in her fists, the hurt, the hate, the passing of a shadow. The shadow was handed down to my mother. It devoured and consumed the woman. The shadow proved bigger than she. My stepfather would sit in the dark with his, sh with his shadow, waiting for my mother to come home. She chose to part instead. So I, as a small child, was my stepfather's punching bag, dragging me out of bed by my hair, punching me, kicking me, throwing me against the wall. Every night, the hate in his eyes, the rage in his fists, and his hurt the passing of a shadow. The shadow was handed down to my father. It devoured and consumed the man. The shadow proved bigger than he. My children were born of love. They sleep safe. Unlike their father, they were wanted and cherished, adored and safe. No shadow of violence, no rage or hate. They know nothing of, of that shadow to those that touched me, to those that beat me and kept me small, know that the shadows were handed down. I devo devoured and consumed them. I proved bigger than the shadows given to me. I stood up and battled those demons and my children are free. Beautiful. How many of us with less painful experience continue to feed, continue to ruminate in this past and using it as an excuse for our present circumstances? We take it as a lifelong feeling when in fact it's a matter of choice. Gain awareness and do the work to make your life a fantastic experience. Working your inner child can help you to heal your wounds that remain open. How many inner children living in adult lives remain locked in their childhood, trapped to a situation, to a person, to an event? By living with these wounds, which seems to be healed on the surface but continues to fermenting at the deepest level, you will only perpetuate your internal struggle and internal suffering for you, for your children and for those who cross your path. When you stop ruminating, you open space for new and better get in your life. 
ruminating, keeping, recalling past events will only result in with more suffering and will not solve anything. So isn't it good to talk about it, you may ask? Of course it is. You need to speak out, throw everything out to start the internal healing process. But once it's done, it's not good practice to be constantly remembering the event, the person. By doing so, you are reinforcing your memory and therefore giving it more power. And you don't want this. You want to release it and start to live a better experience. There are people who overcome these, their challenges on their own. They are resilient, they read self-help books, they attend seminars, and they manage to overcome it. Then they look at the situation, the event, the person in a neutral way. They manage to break free from the negative emotion. They stopped feeding it and move on. But if you, are, if you require support, it's totally fine. We are so fortunate today. We live in an era where there is so much good resources, people that can help you. Find someone who can help to set you free. Do it for yourself and do it for your loved ones. You are born to live an abundant life. Good health, wealth, relationships. Don't limit yourself. Don't be conditioned by your past. You can always start over. I hope this made sense and gave you a different perspective and hope. And if you want to contact us to, to see if we can work together, please call us or email us. Now and until next time, stay safe and bye.